hear a lot of people who have transcended experiences. Cognitive, psychological, emotional, complete experiences like being on drugs, like being on a powerful drug. States of ecstasy that comes from focus only on that. That light beyond. I find my mind is sequenced with sequenced with everything around me. You know, like there's a, an invisible web of the structure of reality and the flowing of it so that it's predictable. Or probable. There are people who have experiences like being on drugs, and their mind opens up, their body and their mind, their psyche, everything is such that it's another way of thinking. Now I don't know why I keep going back to that and then I lose my way in explaining what I, why I'm bringing that up. Oh, it's because there's further need to explain what actually is happening. What is happening? See, I had it there for a second, and then I lost it. What is it that is happening? Ah, right, there it is. See, it comes around again. Now, maybe I've got early signs of Alzheimer's. I hope not. But that's the way it flows. I have to really listen and, like, be able to control my blood pressure and, you know, the rhythm of my heart and everything in order to let go of, let go completely and let it be. To experience it, I have to really let go of me. <laughs> I like that, huh? That's a good one. <laughs> and the more I me, the more I realize it. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the world. You know, I think about these cars when I go by all the time on my walks. To me, it's like the materialism. You know, like, here's a car. Sure, it looks kind of groovy. And I certainly wouldn't mind driving it. You know what I'm saying? And I would get the glasses so that it would match the car. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but materialism, schmerialism. But you know, people will spend, you know, what is this? $20,000 or actually probably more like $30,000. And do you, when are you gonna be able to pay that off? Just like it used to be when we were buying houses. And yet then we made the same amount of money as we make now. I don't wanna be in debt. The goal that I've had is to become so in tune with reality. Just totally synced up. See, I unconsciously I wanted you to see that light because it's soft and, and I think it's the kind that well it has mercury in it maybe. <laughs> well there went that idea of of uh, being sustainable. But for some reason I like that light better than this bright, intense thing. Now, 
what is my main point? What is my pain? Oh, because I wanted you to see that. But yet, uh, when I was, I was facing it the other way, this way, and you, I couldn't see it. And, oh no, I could see it, but you couldn't see what I was seeing. So I thought, well, gosh, I wanted to share that with you and have you be able to see that color or that the color of that light you know, that it was pleasant and but then I got carried away because I'm trying to figure out all this you know how to be free you know like when I'm in the shower taking a shower and I'm just chatting away you know with life or dreaming dreaming love dreaming wow and uh, I'm hearing the thought the conclusion is that I have to be creative I have to let it out and be in sync with it you know <laughs> like you know I also wanted to see what that light would look like on me and I did not intend to make this happen because I actually walked down the street and you know uh, trying to find privacy and uh, the crown chakra fully lit up see creatively my mind is finding relationship to ideas and thoughts that I've held in my mind that I've learned you know like the seventh chakra the radiance of the seventh chakra seventh chakra and uh, so your mind creatively uses that to express simply what's on my mind, what's bubbling up. I talked about the people that uh, are precognitive and it's weird, I can have a thought and then if I mess it up when I get to it, I will lose it, lose the thought. The glimpse, you know, the peak experiences, the glimpses into something completely altered. You know, that's why people take drugs. Well, it's possible for that to happen uh, totally without drugs. And maybe with a little drugs, really get out there, you know. But uh, wouldn't it be nice to have a new perception come to you and it totally radicalizes your thinking? You know, I know you may notice that I have a speech slur. It's new. It's part of related to how I forget what I'm thinking about. But all I have to do is be quiet and it just comes back around. You know, what are we doing anyway? What are people doing? They write poetry, they sing songs. I can't, I can't put that down. I do. That's what I do. And, uh, you know, they write blogs. They write and share their perceptions of things. Or they, people around us work in occupations that provide us the necessities to give us a civilized life. And then in the meantime, you hope part-time you can be a, a, a lawyer or a... Why would I say lawyer? So I was thinking of something artistic. People are all expressing themselves. People want money, power, wealth because it expresses something. You know, I'm powerful, you know, I got all this money and all that. Such is the way of the world. There's different ways of looking at the world. And I hope that I get to bring a new way of looking into the world, a way of being creatively. <laughs>